What's up everyone? Welcome back. So it is another beautiful Oregon day outside. It's like 44 degrees. Uh, it's pretty freaking cold, but it's nice out. So I had a couple of people message me uh, about the last video when I said I wasn't going to show how I was going to install the other side for the uh, lower control arm pickup. And uh, yeah, a bunch of people wanted to know how I was going to do it. So I lied in my last video. I'm going to show it in this video. I just have to cut this weld off here, which I'm actually going to cut all the way down the subframe and just weld this back up because there's no way I'm getting into this pocket here. I've just cut a line across there. This won't really matter because these brackets don't actually use that stop anymore. And then for this is where it gets tricky because it's all one piece and I kind of screwed up on the other side, but I'm going to end up cutting just kind of at an angle, cut this off then lay my other part on just like I did with this one and uh, see how it comes out. Okay, so it looks a little funky, like I welded it and it's not square, but actually if you check every other part of this, it is square, it's just the rods that I welded across, I did not square those up, which doesn't really matter because it was bolted in completely square, man I'm saying square a lot. Um, so this should be perfect, it already fits on the control arm like you saw, so now I just got to make sure it actually fits on the subframe. Perfect. Just now I got to clean all this up and um, weld it in.
what it looks like when it's all finished and welded up. Um, had a little trouble here. I had some paint in here from the bottom side, as you can see, is painted. I left some here kind of spattered up, but nothing too bad. And remember, these are not structural anyway. They were just there to hold it straight while I welded it in. So, yeah, they aren't important. What's important is the welds are going to hold. And uh, this should be pretty freaking awesome. I'm stoked. The most important question is, what color am I going to paint the subframe? Because, you know, you got to paint it some hot boy color once you do this. So, let's see what I have in my paint box over here left over. Wow, my camera is just not focusing today. There we go. So yeah, there's a couple different colors and I'm gonna see what I have enough of to actually paint this thing. Or maybe it'll be multicolored, who knows? I almost forgot I had to weld in this hole here and this hole here because that all got ripped out. And I got this scrap from the other side. So I think I'm just gonna take that, cut a piece out weld it in and then I'll get to painting. Nice little piece to uh, weld in there. That should make it nice and sturdy and all boxed in, or at least good enough for who it's for. And I'll probably go in there and weld that too. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Not the worst welds in the world, definitely not the prettiest. I uh, didn't bother to do this, but I do have to uh, fill in that little crack right there. A little hot, just kind of hurt my finger. Uh, anyway, so that hole I'm just going to leave. It's not even welded in that way from the factory, so I'm just going to freaking go with it. And uh, yeah, now I have a couple colors to choose from that you saw earlier, and I guess... I'm probably going to end up going with the green because that way I can just put it in my front yard, spray it, and uh, none of my neighbors will be able to tell.
getting way too cold out there and it was very hard to paint so I brought it in and it is pretty much done well enough to touch at least like I said it's getting pretty cold outside uh, it's got to be in the low 40s right now that paint coming out of the gun was barely coming out of it gun can everything on this car is rattle can uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to call it on this video. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on what you need to do to install these parts from Villains and get them all welded in. I don't know for sure this is the right way to get them in. Uh, this was just kind of an experiment Nate did for Jason's car. Jason welded them in and he loved them. They had some extra ones uh, laying around and they asked me if I wanted a set. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to take them if it's going to improve the car, right? Uh, so that being said, they're not in production at the time of this video, but maybe if you guys hound them enough, uh, you can make that happen. I know most of us FC RX-7 guys are freaking broke, so uh, you don't have to work with him on prices for that sort of stuff. But, you know, wouldn't hurt to ask, I guess. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you thought about this video. I know the couple of people that asked me about these things. Are probably going to like it but i don't know how everybody else feels about it because it's pretty rx7 specific and not something a lot of people understand so unless you have an rx7 uh, also these guys right here drifting reality i forgot to give you guys a shout out forever ago uh we met at the spokane drift met Surrey. super nice guy gave me a sticker hung out for a little bit um sorry about that about not saying anything sooner. Uh, same thing with Speed Race and Jason. He gave me some stickers. We hung out. We did photography together at a park event. Pretty cool guy. And uh, again, I forgot to say anything about him in my videos. So yeah, go check out Drifting Reality. Go check out Speed Race and Jason. Let me know what you guys think about them. And uh, hopefully I get to do another one tomorrow where I will assemble everything that I've taken off. I might paint this stuff, I might not. It's pretty freaking cold. I don't really want to be painting in the cold anymore and delaying putting the car back together even more. But um, I don't know, it kind of a shame to do an, a decently nice paint job. I mean, rattle can. Uh, and put all this stuff on there being so dirty. But I just want the car back together because it does run and drive. I don't have to do anything else to this car. I put the subframe back in, I'm ready to rock. Uh, and I need to get it to the alignment rack and see, you know, what all these new parts are going to do. So, anyways, yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess that's it, and I will see you guys later.